Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today I want to talk a little bit about capital budgeting and how we evaluate projects based on this net present value approach. So what we have here is we have project A and we're going to use this net present value approach to determine whether or not we will accept or reject this project. So you'll see that I have our cash flows and at time zero, which is the beginning of the project, they're going to have to expend or have a cash outflow of $1,500. They then have positive cash flows in the next five years, so we can assume that this is a five-year project. Their cost of capital is 9%. So if the net present value for this series of cash flows at a 9% cost of capital, if that NPV is positive, then the decision maker will accept the project. Let me show you how we calculate this. All right, so here I am with my fancy BA2+. Plus, and you can see over here on the left, all I did, all I've done is I have looked at these cash flows in terms of the year in which they're going to occur. So cash flow zero, year zero, was that negative $1,500. And then I have cash flows in years 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And each of these are positive cash flows. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this cash flow function in my BA2 calculator to enter all of these cash flows. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to use this NPV function in order to calculate the net present value. All right, so cash flow. Cash flow year zero is a negative $1,500. So enter, so I put in negative 1500 enter, and now I use my down arrow. This wants cash flow from year one, and that was 450, enter, down. What this F01 is saying, what is the frequency of cash flow zero one? And I know I only have one of those so I say enter and down. Cash flow two is 580, enter, down. Again, cash flow two only occurs one time, so I can hit enter, down. Cash flow three, 620, enter, down. Now cash flow four, 700, enter, down. Cash flow 5, 200, enter, down, down. All right, so I've got all my cash flows in. So ultimately, remember, this is a decision based on net present value. So now I'm going to come up over here and hit the NPV key. First thing it prompts me for is I. Well, I is simply cost of capital, and we knew that that was 9.0%. So I enter the 9.0 and I hit enter and then down. Now you'll see that your screen says compute NPV and so that's exactly what I want to do. I'm going to come up here, I'm going to use my CPT or compute key. I'm going to hit that in like a nanosecond. Um, Texas Instruments tells us that the net present value of this project is $505.66 since that is a positive net present value, the decision maker or the business will make the decision to accept the project. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.